Well, I decided I should do another poll, because Lost Magic is coming to an end tomorrow. The last episode is going to be going up, because I've already got it recorded. I was doing that just to see sure I could do this poll video and actually be assured that this game will be starting next week. Whichever one gets picked, and I decided to go with strategy games this time. There's not too much variety. Most of them are turn-based tactical RPGs. Or at least turn-based strategy games. But I decided we'd take a look at some DS titles and some PS2 titles. Start start with we have Spectral Force Genesis. To be honest, I'm not particularly fond of this game because it's very easily broken if you pick up the right unit early on. And if you want to get all the true endings, it would take me forever. And I'd have to probably either experiment or look online, hope I can get lucky. I'll probably pick the kingdom that's really easiest to get the true ending for. Or one of the other ones that I've done it before with. The um, Mammy Alliance, or how I pronounce it, with the Pop Idol as one of the main generals. Simply because it's more convenient for myself. Because there's not too many... Um, good walkthroughs online for getting the true endings, and there's 40 of them if I want to do everything in the game, and I won't. I'll pick it one faction, and that's it. And if I get, I either do the true ending with it, or I'll get the normal ending. I'll try for true, but I'm not gonna do every faction, because once you know how to play with one faction, you can basically beat the entire game the same way repeatedly. It's just very tedious after a certain point. The next is History's Great Empire's Rome. It might be a bit hard to see it, but yeah. Um, this is basically a poor man's version of Rome's Total War, and that's not an exaggeration. It really is a poor man's version. Um, the game has a whole lot of emphasis on resource building and conquering various areas, and if I do this, I'm only going to do one of the campaigns. There's several of them, but if you understand the basics, you can be any of them, basically. I'm sure some of them are harder than others, and certain factions are more difficult than others. So, I'll just go with one campaign and one of the factions available within it. I'm not going to showcase what the various factions are, sadly, because I didn't think about looking that far ahead. But Yeah, if you want, I can play at least a non robin um, faction. If someone picks this. We also have Hoshigami Blue Earth Remix, I believe is the title. It's a bit hard to read without my glasses right now. But it's a turn based tactical RPG. And quite frankly, I might just play it on normal because I've been told that hard is extremely difficult because enemies really start to um, long range spam you with attacks to the point where melee fighters become sort of useless. Or at least that's what I've been told. I mean, I don't know how true that would be. Sadly, I don't have any footage of Valkyrie Profile Con Convent of the Plume, or however it's pronounced. Covenant, maybe? I, f I forget. It doesn't... I guess the being entirely accurate isn't necessary here. I've basically been told if I want to get the true ending on this, we're going to have to play through it at least twice. If not three times, and basically go through it until we get every ending. Which would suck somewhat, but you have to basically go through it with a less than perfect ending the first time. You're going to have to kill characters off to raise your own stats. Or at least that's, I think, the gimmick of the game. So only on repeat, only on later playthroughs will you have the strength necessary to beat the game without doing this. And I also have a footage for this one, Luminous Arc, which is another turn based tactical RPG. With its own puke slowed on the back of protect, protect the light, condemn the dark. It's about holy knights and witches. Of course, there's a lot more going on with it. I, from what I saw, or at least there's at least hints of a lot more going on with it than what you think of than just the witches being evil and all that. Now to move on some P to PS2 titles. Oops, sorry. Just getting off the side. I checked these to make sure they work. Because for some games like Disguise in here, I can't play it I'm with my hardware and get it functioning correctly. 
So we have Chaos Wars, which from my understanding is basically a gigantic crossover game. So there's characters from a whole bunch of series that pop up in it. There's there's other factors that go on with this game too, so if you don't want to see a bunch of characters from Star games you've maybe never played before, this may not be the game to select. What else did I grab footage for? Um, no, I didn't like that one. One of the ones I can't do. Ah, uh, yes. Dynasty Tactics. I, I have the second one as well. But yeah, I, I don't sure. I'm not sure how complex this gets. I only did the start of one opening, the opening tutorial battle, and that was it with this game so far. So it may prove to be more or less interesting than I'm expecting. I don't know. We also have Eternal Poison, probably one of the only really gothic games I can think of. It's also a turn-based tactical RPG, though how easy it is or how difficult it is, I'm not sure, because I've never gotten past the prologue, because I usually just test to make sure the game would work, and that was about it. And I think there might have been one other one I was thinking about. Oh, yeah. Did I go past it? Yeah. Front Mission 4. A tactical RPG with gigantic robots. Yeah, I know. Maybe I didn't have the most variety going on here, but yeah. Those are options I'm tossing up for a strategy game, or a tactical game at least, for the fill in Lost Magic slot. I don't know if anyone's actually going to vote this time or not, but I'll put it up there. Till next time, then. See ya. And if you're voting, leave a comment.